Oh man, Memorial Stadium was called the world's loudest outdoor insane asylum and John predicts this Sunday will be the loudest crowd in our history. And the answer is no, the band will not be playing any Taylor Swift songs. Thank you for that. Man, stories like that give us little glimpses into what this game means for the city and for all the different people that are going to go to it, that are invested in it. But to see someone so dedicated like that is a beautiful thing. He is, he's been that way forever wow. and ever. He's one of the reasons we get football back in this town. That's incredible. Yeah. Good story, man. Thanks. All right, let's go get it. Yeah, let's go get it. A couple more days to go, Jamie. So we headed to tomorrow. A little fog, some visibility issues. You can walk outside tonight. You can't see much farther oh. than a mile, yeah. maybe. Oh, okay. Less than that in some spots. So dense fog advisories in place through the morning. Radar showing up with some light showers here and there, pretty widely scattered. But in between that is the sort of mist that you almost drive through. It'll collect on your windshield enough to have to run the windshield wipers once or twice. This kind of sticks around tonight. It's the warm up as temperatures climb and air mass can hold more moisture. All the melting snow is providing a lot of low level moisture and it's leading to this on the one mile visibility at the Inner Harbor quarter mile Columbia two miles in Essex. But you can see really our entire station uh, showing up with some problems. Easton coming in at 10, but you can see painted in white there some fog and visibility problems across the board. Take it slow tonight. Need some extra stopping distance. Going to be hard to see much farther uh, than the car ahead of you. So as we head into the morning, still through 7, 8, 9 a.m., fog sticking around. Temperatures warm back up. We're still on our way to the 60s. That doesn't change. It's going to warm thanks to a south wind, but uh, that fog, mist, and drizzle will linger for the morning hours. 54 in Baltimore, 56 in Ocean City, 60s and even near 70 farther south. This warm air is sprawling. We're getting a piece of it. And it'll stick around into Friday before temperatures start to swing the other way. So let's go tonight on Futurecast through Friday morning. This is all the fog sticking around. Uh, it looks like cloud cover, but watch as it slowly starts to shrink instead of really moving. By the time we get to the afternoon, that sky will clear up a bit. We'll get back to sunshine second half of Friday much better. That's where temperatures jump back into the 60s and then watch the wind direction change. You see these arrows coming across the board. They'll be out of the north by the time we get to Saturday. Temperatures drop here. It's not cold by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, 50s will start to slowly drop as we get into Saturday. And then, of course, looking forward to Sunday, the AFC Championship game. It'll be another round of rain. Temperatures in the 40s by then running a little bit cooler but better than last weekend. 43 on Monday, rain chances linger early. We're watching the potential for a little bit of mix. You see that overnight low into Monday in the mid 30s. Mm. Be cold enough to see some uh, mix, but I think impacts pretty low as we warm up. Mid 40s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, partly cloudy. We start to dry, Jamie. Very good, Chris. Thank